actually I'll show one, which is um, I took the Gemini three logo from I forget there was like the cool little like point the dot dots, thing yeah. yeah which I really liked and I, I put it into AI studio and the prompt was like I think literally just bring anything to life um, and so if we throw it up onto the big screen I'll show I'll show what I have um, and the yeah awesome so what I like about this is when you refresh you sort of get the like little dots balls dropping into place which I really liked and then it says Greetings, I am Gemini 3. Interact with my digital form or ask me anything. Hello, Gemini 3. Greetings. I like it. Good vibes. <laughs> I feel like the design is cool. Um, and, and literally, the, the thing that I liked about the, the reason this example sort of resonated with me is because my prompt was literally bring this picture to life. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't like I didn't describe that I wanted like yeah. an interactive website and all this other stuff. And it just did it, which is awesome. So, and Kat, I think you had another example that was something like this. Yeah, so I took one of our quantum research papers and did a similarly simple prompt of, I want to understand this because quantum goes right over my head, uh, <laughs> and asked it to create a, you know interactive visual interface for me to explore this research paper so we can see this alpha qubit design uh, looks super clean and again, super proud of the aesthetic outputs for 3Pro. Um, but we can see we can explore the results here and it pulled all of this from a lengthy, thorough, technical PDF. Uh, Did it, and it like screenshotted parts of the PDF and then put them into the app? Or like, how is it getting those? Look, these I look think, like screenshots. No, those are, I think, just. They re right? it yeah, recreated. Yeah, so it's interactive. Them. Oh, so wow. It's recreated based That's on crazy. the results, uh, wow. all grounded in this, you know, 20 page PDF, uh, which is super cool to see. I will say, I think this like goes back to something Corey said earlier. Like, um, I think one of the things that I'm really excited about with Gemini 3 is this like cross format, mm. right? So yeah. to your point about bring anything to life, yeah. right? Being able to actually go from text to like richer visuals, being able right. to actually visual, like interact with a graph instead of yeah. just trying to process it in, the, in a consistent format. And we're actually putting that everywhere. So you can build these in AI Studio, mm -hmm. but you can also actually experience this in AI mode as a mm -hmm. part of the search experience. We're experimenting with a version of this in the labs part of, Google, of the Gemini app. So we're actually really trying to lean into this idea of how do you actually cross form factors in a way that is like most effective for you, yeah. right? I love it. Yeah. I feel like um, it also Gemini app canvas has a sort of similar Gemini experience app canvas also has, well. yeah. And, and, and Gen UI or no, Gen UI is so, in AI mode. Yeah, so there's um, a generative layout uh, feature in AI mode. So when you use Gemini 3 in AI mode, you can, depending on your prompt, will get a richer layout experience that includes things like widgets um, that you can actually interact with. We're experimenting with a labs version of a generative uh, layout product in Gemini app. Cool. Um, and then there's also Canvas where you can also vibe code and build really cool things. So it's going to be really awesome to see kind of what that plays out to be. Super. I love it.